Let's do one more word with Pat Harris, who's the co-author of a new book called Mistrial, an inside look at how the criminal justice system works and sometimes doesn't. Is there any crime any defendant would have committed that even for you says, I understand my role in the justice system and everybody's entitled to an a defense, but I can't in good conscience represent you? What I'm about to tell you is, um, is going to make a lot of people probably angry. Uh, I won't represent people who abuse animals. I just won't. Uh, we've had cases where people have come in and abused dogs and I refuse to represent them. And I know that sounds strange when you've got your willing to represent somebody who's murdered somebody else, a human being, um, but there is something about the abuse of animals that just makes me sick to my stomach and I cannot represent somebody who would actually hurt an animal. So if Michael Vick, the former NFL yes. quarterback, came to you, you would say no? I would never have represented him. You'd have been on TV every day? I don't care. I would have never represented him. Do you own pets? I do. I have two dogs, Lucy and Boomer, and I think that's part of the problem is I, I, I don't have children myself, but the two dogs are sort of my, they are, act as my kids, and I, I'm probably, um, I've always been a huge dog person, and I just can't see torturing a dog. Okay. I know people watching this right now are going to say, I know they think I'm crazy. Well, no, they're going to say, they're going to say that's all well and good. Uh, I mean, we, we, we uh, laud your, your strong feelings towards the protection of animals. But the notion that you couldn't defend mm -hmm. an animal abuser, but you could offend, you could defend a child abuser mm -hmm. may come as passing strange. Would you agree? I think it's probably very strange. Um, I, I don't really know what the difference is, and I can't even make a cogent argument as to why. It's just an emotional reaction that I have. And I, when you say I can represent a child abuser, um, for someone like that, if we see the evidence is, is there that they've represented, uh, that they've abused children, we're not going to get them off. We're not going to send them back on the streets. What we're going to do is what we call, we will provide them a defense, we will provide them and we will negotiate the best sentence we can negotiate with them. Um, but frankly, under the laws as they are now, the mandatory minimums, they're going to do a lot of time regardless. So it's a little easier to represent someone like that because you know they're going away for a long time and you're not putting them back on the street, so to speak. So I guess that's my sort of excuse for that. <laughs> Support Ontario's public television. Donate at tvo.org.